Are you ready for the story tonight? But first, brush your teeth. What if everything was as simple as dreaming? Dreaming, imagining as possible something that is not expected or very difficult to shift. An owl counting stars, flying mice, and foxes that sing to make the moon rise. Let your sleep come to you. Let your imagination run wild, and maybe this way you will be a child again. You might think this is a normal roof, right? Well, no. This roof is magical. Every night, when I'm about to go to bed, I hear a voice telling me a story. Sometimes they come to see me some slimy frogs. Other times a panther cup that wants to be yellow, like the sun. From time to time an owl that loves to eat chase. And if not, a few mice that want to learn to fly. From time to time I get to see a turtle hiding its eggs under the sun to protect them from the hunters. And if not, a fox that has no idea of singing. And if it's very dark and I feel alone, it comes a firefly that stays with me until I fall asleep. Do you want to know what they tell me? Now I tell you. The Treasure of Frogs A family of frogs live in a lake in the middle of the forest. As children, they were big-headed, had a long tail, and could swim without worries. But when they grew up, their legs started to grow, and their mother had to teach them to jump. One night, five very adventurous tadpoles were born, and when their mother did not see them, they swam through the water, looking for a treasure. One evening, they found something that amazed them. We found a hole full of gold, they told their mother, but she did not listen to them. The next night, they decided to look for the treasure with a basket to pick it up. When they got there, they filled it up to the top. But the basket was so hard that it sank to the bottom of the lake. In the morning, their mother said to, the, said to them, Come on, you must learn to jump. If not, you will never be a frog. But they only thought of their treasure. The next night, they told the secret to their carp friend. It was a small fish that lived in the other side of the lake and went to see them many evenings. You have to get our basket back. The bottom of the lake is full of gold, the tadpoles told him. Finally, the carp agreed. She swam all night to the bottom of the lake, but she only found an empty basket. This basket is empty, said the tadpoles. You stole our gold. The carp, tired of swimming all night, got very angry with the little ones. So without saying anything, she went to the other side of the lake and did not visit them again. The next day, the mummy frog kept telling them, Come on, tadpoles, you have to learn to jump or you will never be a frog. But they just thought about their treasure. After a few time, the tadpoles lost their tails, got their legs out and learned to jump. And one night, they remembered their friend. To get the treasure, we lost our friend, they said. We can go look for her and apologize. And so they did. After many nights, they found her. And they understood that a friend is much more valuable than a treasure. Now, the frogs are teaching the fish to jump over the water. And jumping across the lake, they realized that the treasure they had seen could never be taken.
Here is a turtle. Here is the firefly. It's time to say goodbye. Here is the panda. Here is the moon. This story will sleep soon.